we try to evaluate this integral here for the logarithm function. Now, usually you want to do integration by part for this sort of problem, but we're going to try a different method. Now, notice that uh, the inverse function of this is going to be the exponential function here. Of course, these two function, red and blue, is going to be symmetric by this line. Now, for the integral we're looking for, which is this area, by the symmetric property, is going to be this area, which is going to be the rectangle here, minus the integral of the exponential function. All right? So let's do exactly that. So the desired integral, let's call it S, which is from 0 to 1, original function is the logarithm function. Now we claim that by the symmetric property of inverse function is going to be the shaded area here, right? In this diagram, the shaded area here, this, uh, that's going to be the rectangle, which is, notice that uh, this position here is log 2. Yeah? So the point Q and P, right? Original integral is from 0 to 1. And in this inverse function, we're going to be from 0 to log 2. So the rectangle is log 2 times 1 minus the integral of the exponential is going to be from 0 to log 2 of e to x minus 1. Of course, for this one, you know that uh, that's just uh, e x minus x with the integral is from 0 to log 2, right? So what we have is log 2 minus this one e to the log, log 2 power, that's going to be 2. Yeah, so that's going to be 2 minus log 2. And then for 0, e x to 0 is going to be 1, minus 0 is going to be 1. So minus 1. Okay, so the result is going to be 2 log 2 minus 1. So that's the answer here. Notice that um, this is easier than the integration by part. We rely on the symmetric value of the inverse function here. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share.